Hello everyone. Hope you're having a fantastic day so far. So let's jump into a topic that I've actually grown up with, believe it or not, called water softeners. Now, if you live, like myself, if you live in the Midwest slash Indiana, you probably understand that a lot of our water ends up sitting very close to limestone, which has a whole lot of calcium along with other minerals that leach into our water and make our water very, very, very hard. We have terribly hard water. Um, now, is it a higher pH? I think I measured approximately 8.3 or 8.4 with my fish tank API measuring kit with the high pH, not even the regular pH because it blew it off the charts, but the high pH measuring tool. But we also have a pretty high KH and I believe there's one other unit of measurement too that ranks how hard your water actually is. Ironically enough, when I was a young girl, my dad was actually a water softener representative and ended up working for two local companies in Indiana, uh, both of which are your higher end water softener companies that sell their own pri proprietary equipment um, and have their own install reps, marketing team. You know, they're the big kahunas. You know, they're the bigger companies that offer those generous financing plans, etc. So I was the daughter of a water softener salesman, a uh, door to door salesman to top it off. So yeah, basically my upbringing was a little bit oddly enough very relevant. And unfortunately, even though I was the daughter of a water softener salesman, we didn't always get to experience it, but I knew when I bought my house, I was getting a water softener. So you have basically three main options to go with when you're going with a water softener. There's your cheapest of the cheap seats, which is gonna be those ones that you find at Home Depot, Lowe's. Um, you know, even Amazon has a water softener too. And then you're gonna have like more of your mid-grade price range ones that are usually two to three times as much as those hardware store models, um, which is paying for the services of an actual plumber to come in and install their water softener unit and do a plumber's uh, style installation for you. And then you have your third tier up, which is what my dad worked for, those higher end companies that make, uh, they specialize in water softener treatment units. They have the door-to-door -door salesman or the, the called up salesman. He shows up, he opens his kit. He shows you all these beakers and things and goes through the whole sales module and tells you basically how bad your water is. So you have three main models to research. So why get a water softener? I think a lot of us probably, if you've done any research on water softeners, we kind of know the basic benefits that go with them, right? Our benefits are and the reasons for why we might go with a water softener when you live in an area that has a lot of extremely hard water coming out of the tap is for a few reasons. One of which, better showering experience. Uh, those of us with drier, sensitive skin, cases of eczema, psoriasis, etc., you know, can benefit from showering in softer water. Um, it, you know, your, your skin tends to feel real squeaky clean, I will say, with the hard water. Um, it tends to feel more slippery with the soft water. It can throw you off when you're washing your hands up first with soft water versus hard water because it can almost kind of feel like the soap is never really off your hands, but it is. It's just not drying out your hands nearly so bad. But yeah, so better showering experience overall. We also know that water softeners mean that, you know, our pets are gonna experience better, cleaner, fresher water, especially for those of us who own aquariums and, you know, are tired of dealing with those calcium deposits on the side of their glass and acrylic tanks. And then we also have the fact that it just helps the longevity of your appliances as well, your dishwashers, your water heaters, you know, all of your hardware and everything. It just helps prolong the life of those expensive appliances that who wants to be replacing a water heater anytime soon? I certainly don't. That's not a fun homeowner buy on my list. So, you know, those are kind of some main reasons. Additional perks are the fact that my tea and my coffee taste better too because higher calcium deposits actually cause more especially in coffee more of the bitter flavor compounds to be released 
giving it that more like ugh, strong, like bitter, bitter coffee taste. And yes, coffee does have a bitter taste, but made properly and with good water, it has more flavor nuances to it than just straight bitter. So yeah, having a water softener means your tap water now can unlock more flavor compounds in your coffee. It's great. So why did I decide to go with a plumber for my water softener? So I did do a bit of a survey within my next door uh, application in my neighborhood. And I said, hey, like what water softener did you go with? Why, why do you like it? And you know what I found out? 100% of the feedback pretty much told me that no matter whether they went with the lower end of models such as the hardware store and Amazon and had them install it, whether they bought it and installed it themselves, had the mid-grade plumber install it, or the high-end people install it, they were happy with it. No matter what, there wasn't really any complaint to who they went with to get a water softener. So pretty much it was a win-win-win situation. Now, why did I happen to choose to go with a plumber to install my water softener when the cheapest seats are going to be your Home Depots and your Lowe's? Well, that had to do with the fact that when I was getting quotes for getting a water softener, I had a plumbing company DM me and what they let me know is they kind of pointed out some areas around my water heater, which I'll show you here. Um, well, not a before picture, but they basically, they basically circled an area and said, hey ma'am, you're like, your water heater is leaking, it's corroding. Also, you have a ton of CPVC piping leading all the way into the floor. Like I had probably about five and a half to six feet of CPVC piping going from the floor into the water heater unit. And they were like, that's gonna get brittle. It's gonna cause problems. It's gonna break. It's gonna flood your floor. Blah. So we went with a plumber because I wasn't really sure if an installer from Home Depot or Lowe's was gonna know what to do if they ran into that situation. And I have had a tough situation with the Lowe's dishwasher installer where the guy ran into a snafu because my floor was too high. It was not a good situation. It was very stressful. He did not know how to think outside the box and troubleshoot. And it was not my best experience having someone install something for me. So we went with a plumber. So basically the reason why I ended up having the plumber come in here is because, and I won't film how messy my room is, but there was a ton of corrosion and crusty and the plumber pointed out and said, hey, yo, your line leading into your water heater, it's totally leaking. This is not good. It could end up causing the line to rupture and then you deal with like this huge amount of overflow and it would be a huge mess all over the what is now currently covered floor. So that was kind of the big design factor for why I did a plumber to install my softener here. And then there is a receptacle tank here that gets full of salt. Um, it's kind of like a mini trash can, basically. You can kind of see the water. Ooh, don't drop the phone in there. Um, but that helps, basically this salt water bath helps recharge the resin in here that does the actual softening for all the water that's flowing into this tank. All the cold water, all the hot water, boom, boom. You might be asking yourself, is it really going to make a difference on my dishes? And to be honest, dishes was kind of a big push for why I wanted a water softener. I was sick and tired of the chalky deposit. Let's take a look here. So I use kombucha glasses. For my water bottle, makes it easy to recognize. Guess which one was washed in hard water and hasn't been run through the dishwasher with the new water softener water yet. And guess which one I've actually washed a few times in the dishwasher with the water softener. It becomes painfully clear just how much nicer your dishes look when you get a water softener. It's incredible. Now I'm going to go through the pros and the cons of all three water softener types and their benefits and why you as a homeowner might go with one or another or a renter, why you might go with one company over another. I mean, I'd have to say if your plumbing seems pretty up to date, you have a fairly new house um, and no issues or concerns that maybe a professional plumber needs to address, I probably would end up recommending more of the Amazons and the Home Depots end of the spectrum that you can afford to go with the cheap seats because 
really a water softener unit isn't all that complex in how it operates. There aren't really that many mechanisms to break down and well, everyone seemed pretty happy with it no matter what, right? Now the mid seats with the plumbers, you know you're getting a proper plumber install job. That's nice to know. You wanna make sure it's going to the right feed lines, but also they can address and kind of think outside the box if they run into any additional circumstances with your setup you know, because they'll usually, at least for me, the plumber came before the actual appointment date to do the work to pre-outline what needed to be done, and then they were ready for it the day of. A Lowe's installer is going to come in on the day of and could be like, oh no, here's some problems. So that is something to kind of keep in mind. And then why maybe you might go with more of a higher end company, like one of the ones that does have that, you know, bigger name bigger reputation, um, and a pretty big marketing department. Well, to be honest, some of the cool things about them is they'll probably offer you more financing options, or for those who are renting their homes and you don't want to just outright buy a water softener, um, you can also pick a rental unit to go with your rental home. And I think I've seen some prices in Indiana advertised starting at $9.99 a month to rent their own, the big companies proprietary water softener unit. Uh, so that way you can get the experience without paying full price. And then when you're done renting the house, send that equipment back, you're good to go. You get to enjoy the experience without feeling like you're paying too much for that experience. However, obviously we don't want to rent if we're going to be using it for a really extended period of time, because then at that point, you probably could have at least paid for a Lowe's water softener, if not the plumber installed one. And since we're living in our house for at least the probably, I'm going to say, unless things change, the next five to eight years, I should get pretty good return on my investment and get to really enjoy that water softener unit. All right, so now that you've seen the difference between my glassware, you can see that I'm giving it a double thumbs up. The unit is easy to keep maintained. Uh, I'm experiencing a lot less scalp flakage. I used to have a lot of scalp flakage with the hard water that we had. Now I don't have that. Our dishes are actually looking way shinier and I've been able to downgrade our dishwasher detergent to that cheaper stuff. I know that everyone gets all excited and when you're in an area with hard water, they're like, just throw vinegar in your dishwasher. It's gonna make it great and make things sparkle even like your hard water. Uh, my The vinegar actually had a chemical reaction with my dish detergent and created this extra crusty stuff on the inside of the soap receptacle, so. People get really psyched about vinegar, but that was not a good solution for me. But yeah, getting the water softener meant I can go to the less expensive, um, less expensive dish detergent. My dishes are still turning out really well. I actually haven't put in a drying agent in a while and still no real problems with hard, it, well, it isn't hard water anymore. No more hard water spots and everything. My tea, coffee tastes so much better. It's been a good investment so far. I'm pretty happy with what I got. My only con to the whole thing is the fact that I wish I would have had a better insight from the plumber as far as the footprint on the floor and how much room the unit would take up because we kind of have precious space in that laundry room and now I have lost a little chunk, probably about like, I don't know, something like that. And it also stands about as tall as me. So, <laughs> you know, I have lost a bit of a chunk in that space, but was it a worthwhile investment? Yes. Do I think you're gonna lose no matter which company you go with? Probably not. I mean, granted, do your research, don't go with the worst rated plumber or the worst rated water softener in town, but to some degree, you kind of can't lose no matter which option you say. I'm gonna say that lightly, light disclaimer, check those reviews, but yeah been happy so far. So I hope this video was informative for y'all, um, kind of giving you a little update in some ways too as to the happenings that are going on in my house. Thank you so much for watching if you made it, especially if you made it this far into the video all the way to the end and have a great rest of your week. Bye!